That did not go very far. <laughs> Howdy folks, welcome to another episode of Ordnance Lab. I'm Sean and today we're going to be doing our continuation of our adventures with can cannons. We've already launched Molotov cocktails, hand grenades and other stuff out of it, but we're going to do something here with a pipe bomb. What we've got right here is where you've got the pipe bomb itself, the detonator is actually way down in here, but um, we've got about a 30 second fuse in here. What we're going to do, we're going to put it in here and light it and fire it off real quick. And if it doesn't go off, I'm gonna throw it over the berm and run like hell, like on Monty Python. We've also got a thermite grenade that we're gonna be launching later on, but we're running out of daylight here. So let's get started launching this stuff. Oh, by the way, um, normally I hate wearing battle rattle and all this stuff, but I'm wearing armor mobilities plates which are nice and lightweight, which are actually able to um, be warmed without being a pain in the ass. And let's also make sure that we thank our sponsors, Global Ordnance, for their support for making this video possible. But let's get on to blowing some stuff up. Well, that was pretty cool. We launched it about, I'd say 40 meters or so um, away from the position. It's pretty funny. I don't know what you'll be able to see on video, but I was sitting there lighting it. It's a really hard to light fuse and I kept holding it on there until it actually ignited, but it took a while. And I reached the point where I'm like, ah, I'm just gonna go ahead and launch it where it was taking so long. Uh, we forgot to put a little bit of a kicker on there. Sometimes we'll put a little bit of flash powder, make sure it ignites. And so like it, right when I was like, ah, I'm ready to go and get this thing away from me. Um, it kicked off on the actual fuse and launched it. And so we had a good 30 second burn or so, but that was pretty cool. So now let's go try a thermite grenade. All right, so we got right here is our thermite grenade. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and drop it in. We'll pull the pin. As soon as uh, we get it in the barrel, we'll fire it off. We're kind of curious what's gonna happen because this right here is an instantaneous ignition. So we're wondering if we're gonna get like rain and thermite from the sky or if we're gonna get a blob of thermite that comes down in one spot. Either way, we've got all our firefighting gear prepped and you'll be able to watch us be jackasses fighting the fire coming up here, but let's make it happen. Now, far in the hole. Woo! <laughs> We still got a little bit of glow here from the thermite. That was freaking awesome. Um, looks like it actually, it's caught on fire, then it came down. We only had one other spot of fire, but this is about a minute after it detonated. We hauled ass over here. Um, and you can see that the thermite's still cooling off. Tomorrow we'll see what it actually looks like when it gets done. But hey, we've now successfully launched a thermite grenade from a can cannon launcher. Ha! All right, so here we are in the 
cold gray light of dawn, as Robert Earl Keane said in the song. Um, seeing our results, looking at from the firing position, we're about 75 meters away from where uh, we launched it. So we're now able to see what the results are. You got some slag here from the thermite that able to pull up um, this stuff along with uh, something from the container. But um, it's pretty much just annihilated everything that's uh, part of the grenade and there's no parts of that remaining. So, well, hopefully y'all found this video interesting. This is one of the funner ones that we did looking at the video last night. It was like a freaking meteor uh, raining from the sky and we were a bit kind of <laughs> asses and elbows chasing after the fire to make sure we got it under control quickly. Um, so we didn't get a quite chance to enjoy our handiwork as much as we um, would have otherwise, but still it was a lot of fun to do this. And anyways, want to make sure we thank our sponsors, Global Ordnance, for making this possible. There's going to be a link in the comments section where you can click on that. You can go ahead and um, support us by patronizing them. And also we have our, our PayPal, Patreon, all these other means of supporting us. We really appreciate everyone that's doing that. So make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you want to see more, and stay tuned for another episode here at Ordnance Lab.